Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoRestore.com and today I'd like to share with you one of our complete restorations that we've just completed. Uh, this is Sunshine, a 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible. Um, quite a rare car and very desirable because this is the first year for the Super Beetle in a convertible. So the Super Beetle gives you the McPherson strut front suspension. The spare tire in the front lays flat as opposed to uh, upright. And 71 is the only, uh, the first year that they have the Super Beetle with the short windshield, with the short flat windshield. So um, we performed a ground up restoration on this car and we've done a lot of detail on it. We've added a few extras to the car, uh, but we've kept it looking as stock as possible. So we'll start with the front and I'll just lift up the front hood here and show you what we've done here and how nicely it's finished off. So normally um, these Super Beetles typically don't have carpet uh, on the front and they're not finished off along the front dash. So what we've done is we've ordered the upgraded carpet set and then you'll see the spare tire is underneath and, um, and we've got the carpet here. They call it the salt and pepper carpet which matches the upgraded carpet we put on the inside of the car and then this piece um, covers the gas tank. So you can see the gas tank here. Um, so it just kind of finishes off nicely. Now we've added a couple of features to this car and you'll notice here um, we've got the windshield washer jug. This is a kit that we purchased with the, uh, with the pump here as opposed to the old style which never really worked and they would have a canister here with a line going to the spare tire and believe it or not it was the air pressure from the tire that would um, give the pressure to the washer fluid. They never really worked, the spare tire would never really hold air so what we did is we bypassed that or improved it so from a safety standpoint we've got the new jug uh, and the new nozzle and then what we've done here um, we've made this cover, this is a custom cover that we've upholstered and it, um, it basically covers all of the exposed wires that are in behind the dash and the back of the glove box. So you'll notice when you have the, the air cleaner there and then the cover just kind of makes it a little bit neater. Um, along the front we've added the, the uh, triple plated chrome uh, headlight rings. We've put these little eyebrows on which people really like. Uh, but they are removable. So whoever goes to purchase this vehicle, if they don't like these eyebrows, they're very easily removable. Um, we've got the triple plated chrome bumpers front and rear, and new marker lights, new gaskets. So that's basically it for the front. And as we move along the side, you'll notice uh, these wheels. Uh, we've upgraded the wheels. They're still the stock chrome style Volkswagen wheel. Um, so we went with triple plated chrome with the, the hubcaps. We went with the authentic style tire, so they're still the traditional 15 inch tire that should be on this car. So it has the, the original stance. We've added a little bit of the, uh, of the bling or the little bit of trim here on the front fender and also on the back fender. We've added these little plugs here for the jacks and we've replaced the running boards, uh, new handles with new gaskets and the new aluminum trim new rubber, new top inside and out. So you can see aesthetically it's quite a pretty car um, and we painted the original um, Volkswagen white. And then when you move to the inside you'll see that we've completely redone the inside. Um, we've got a new chrome uh, horn ring. We've done the dash. You'll notice the vents on both sides of the speedometer and the glove box. We've painted them white to match the exterior. Volkswagen always painted them a satin or a flat black and it kind of makes the dash look kind of plain. So we decided we would kind of tie everything together. Because you see the trim along the sides of the dash and inside the doorways, I think it makes sense to have a little bit of, of white to accent the exterior. Um, you'll notice the seats. We've completely redone the seats. We've got new burlap, new foam, and the uh, traditional Volkswagen basket weave upholstery which we all do in house here. Um, we've upgraded the seat belts, they're the brand new seat belts and new upholstery in the back and uh, all new carpeting. You'll notice it's the upgraded carpet. We've also upgraded the door panels, new door panels with the upgraded map pockets and then to give it a little bit of bling we added this accent here um, for the doors. Now it does serve a purpose a lot of times when you're coming in and out of the car, your toes, believe it or not, will hit that edge of the door and it creates a lot of scuff marks. So we went with the stainless 
and um, it just kind of protects the door and, and it gives a little bit of an accent there. So we've got the new top already on. We've done new gaskets, weather strip and seals, door seals. Uh, when you come around the back, it's still the stock look, stock exhaust, what they refer to as the pea shooters, the stock, uh, but the replacement lenses because the original ones were, were quite brittle. The only thing we did differently is this top traditionally would not have the chrome accent along the top. So this is something we've added from an older Beetle. It's triple plated chrome, a special order out of one of our suppliers. And it's not normal to have it on there, but it, it seems just to kind of bring it up because it looked a little bit plain on the top. So we just added that feature. And then if we look underneath the, uh, the hood, what we've done is we've rebuilt this motor and I'll be able to, to start it up so you can hear it. Um, it's totally rebuilt, pistons and, and uh, pots with rings. You'll see we've got a brand new carburetor on here and coil, and we've done the two gas filters as opposed to one. We cleaned the gas tank. Um, it was in very good shape, so we, we used the same tank after cleaning it. But what we want to do is make sure that there isn't any residue that surprises us later. So we've put this filter on, which is the main supply from the tank. So we can keep our eye on that to make sure that the fuel is clean. And then we have the other filter here, which is your traditional one, which is coming from the new fuel pump going up to supply the new carburetor. And obviously we want to keep an eye on that too to make sure everything stays clean. So it's, it's very, very stock looking inside with the exception of this air cleaner. Uh, traditionally in 71 it had the big uh, black plastic guy and um, this just helps it breathe a little bit better and then we've replaced the, uh, the tailpipes with what they call the pea shooter style. So this is traditional Volkswagen look um, in the back and, and surrounding. So um, that's kind of from the side. This is, we've added the, uh, the Volkswagen mud flaps and that was an option. Very, very hard to get and very rare to find them now. So just to show people the different ways you can personalize these cars, we decided to put these mud flaps on this particular car on Sunshine. If the buyer didn't care for those mud flaps, they're easily removable, um, but it's kind of a nice little feature and they do actually serve a function. And then when you come down this side, you'll notice the same thing, running boards, uh, new handles and so on. And then once again, you see the upholstery. So it's, it's finished off quite nicely. We've done the sound deadener in the floor um, and in the doors and in the rear quarters. And, uh, and then we've got the upgraded carpet. This is the salt and pepper carpet, which is quite attractive. And then obviously the, the basket weave, the German basket weave. So everything seems to complement each other. And then the last thing I would like to do um, is just start the car and let you hear it because um, I don't think I'll need to touch the gas or anything. It should just fire right up. So there you go. So that's Sunshine. It's a 1971 Super Beetle convertible. It will be available for sale. Um, you can see the complete restoration on our website. It's lastchanceautorestore.com. And thank you very much for watching. Once again, I'm John Neisman from lastchanceautorestore.com.